Hello, hello again, it's Kat from the Fire Tuna Club. It's time for a tutorial. Let's take a break from all that YouTube drama and make a diorama prop. Yes, it's miniature. Yes, you could probably use it on doll stuff, but I literally have made this for a scene diorama that I'm working on. Hopefully I'll be able to show it to you soon. Either way, let's go ahead and get started. If you want to join along, you only need a couple of things to get started. All you'll need is a bamboo skewer. A bamboo skewer. Come on me. A couple of scissors. One will work, but please do not use fabric scissors. Whoever owns them will probably kill you if you do. If you're not into fake flowers and you don't have some grass stems lying around, hit up your local Hobby Lobby, or if you're like me and got this on Halloween clearance. Either way, you do not have to spend a lot of money on this and you shouldn't need any more than two. One will probably do it, but if you want to add some color variation, two. Your favorite means of sandpapering will work, although I would suggest not using a Dremel, it's a little overkill. You can if you want to. The appropriate glue, if you were in a rush and didn't want to wait drying time like I did, hot glue works just fine. Proper safety equipment, you don't need gloves unless you pulled out the X-Acto knife like I did. And if you're going to use a Dremel, please use safety glasses. And as mentioned in my last tutorial video, know what aspect ratio you're working in. If you have a doll or figure prop that you need to base it off of, use it. Otherwise, keep a ruler handy to maintain the size ratio. Does anyone remember how I said I got the gloves to use with the X-Acto knife? Me either. Cut your bamboo skewer to size. Hey look, there are some gloves. Anyway, once you've cut your skewer to size, you're going to want to take your sandpaper and round off the top of your broom. At this point is where you'll cut your grass stems. I cut it at the very base of the wire and use that little bit that's bundled up as the center of my broom inside. The rest of it went around it in longer pieces. I also used paper tape, which you do not need to stabilize it to keep it from wobbling around and continue to glue as I went. From here on out, it'll work very carefully in pieces. I don't cut the grass stems until I have it on the broom and cut it to the center length so that I don't have uneven pieces and just go around and layer and layer and layer it on until you're happy with how much you have on your little bamboo skewer. I'm going to tell you about another step you have to do. This item is not included in your need to have list because it's up to you. I personally used unraveled yarn, only two strands out of the original four. You can use string, you can use twine, you can even use paper or faux leather or vinyl. Whatever you feel works for your concept depending on what diorama, what scene, what kind of prop you're making, use that. Same thing as before, slather it in glue, glue it on, and voila, you're done. Time to rock it with some pictures or just set it aside as ambiance in your craft room, which is what my diorama is going to be. So, um, you know how I always talk about doing variations based off of what I show you? I did that for you and not because in the two weeks it took me to edit this video between my life and job and everything else, I lost the broom. Not at all. So here's some variations I did. My initial first dual broom, the broom that is not in the picture, and then the third one that I made. Ha 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 for no other reason than I wanted to make another broom. So. Keep that in mind, guys. You can always do variations on what I show you. Make it yourself. Own it for you. So, if you make this broom, go ahead and leave a comment below. I want to check it out. You can follow me on Instagram. I will actually start posting my videos on Instagram. In fact, by the time you see this, it will have already been posted on Instagram for a little bit. So, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, click the bell button, subscribe to my channel, or even like the video if you want to get in contact with me, show me what you've made, or you just want to talk and say hi, comment below. The interactive nature of social media, while a double-edged sword, is still very much a joy in my life. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any updates once you've subscribed, hit that bell button so that you know when I post something new. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you when I finish the next project. Hopefully I won't lose that one. I mean, not take a picture of it.